The arrest record of Texas Senate candidate Beto O'Rourke has been known for years. However, new police records show exactly how much of a threat he posed to the public. Here's One America's Alex Salvi, who takes a look at the latest developments against the Democrat nominee. New details are emerging about a decades-old DWI arrest involving Texas Democrat Senate candidate Beto O'Rourke. Police reports involving O'Rourke's 1998 arrest near the New Mexico border surfaced on Friday, indicating a more serious threat than previously reported. O'Rourke's arrest has been public knowledge, with the rising Democratic stars speaking briefly about it on several occasions. The details, however, were unknown. Police documents show O'Rourke was driving at a high rate of speed in a 75-mile-per-hour zone on the interstate when he lost control of his vehicle. He hit the back of a truck, crossed over the center median into oncoming traffic, bringing his car to a halt. The records say that O'Rourke then tried to flee the scene before being stopped by a witness who stopped his car in front of O'Rourke's and flashed his lights. Police eventually arrived on scene, where O'Rourke blew a .136 on a breathalyzer, well above the blood alcohol limit of .10. He was eventually arrested for a DWI, but had the charges dropped after completing a court-approved diversion program. It'll be a negative story for a few days. It's certainly not what Beto O'Rourke would prefer to be talking about. Southern Methodist University political science professor Matthew Wilson says this likely won't derail O'Rourke's campaign. A DWI arrest from two decades ago just isn't going to register that high on most voters' uh, scale for how they would determine a vote. But the arrest is not O'Rourke's first run-in with the law. In 1995, he was caught jumping a fence at the University of Texas at El Paso, to which he spent a night in jail and was released on bail the next day. O'Rourke has since released a statement saying, quote, Those mistakes did not ultimately define me or stop me from what I wanted to do in my life or how I wanted to contribute to the success of my family and my community. The new revelations come at a time where O'Rourke is surging in the polls as he looks to unseat Republican incumbent Senator Ted Cruz. This story is out well ahead of time, weeks and weeks before the election. So voters have a lot of time to digest it. And by the time they actually cast a vote, I think this story will be pretty far in the rearview mirror. The momentum has prompted a trip from President Trump to stump for Cruz in October, just weeks before the election. Something O'Rourke says is a good sign. It's without PACs, corporations, special interests, uh, we, the people of Texas, are making something extraordinary happen. And we will do it against the odds even of having the president of the United States come here to campaign against us. While the average of polls have Cruz with a five and a half point lead, O'Rourke hopes the recent developments don't hinder his chances of winning the race and Democrats' chances of taking back the Senate come November. Alex Salvi, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.